Welcome back to the segment in which I track a tag on Tumblr and we learn. Just kidding! This Tumblr lesson is going to be a little bit different today because today I'm not going to track a tag, I'm just going to talk about the Tumblr ask box. Those of you who tumble know that the Tumblr ask box is a sacred place. It is a place unlike any other and one which we must treat with respect. The ask box is super, super special. If you think about it, what's better than getting an ask in your ask box? Like, Nothing. Any other notification you get online is just completely subpar. I see this and I'm like, eh. I see this and I'm like, woo! Tumblr Askbox! Question in my ass, question in my ass. I don't even want to click it because I love how it looks on my dash with the little one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's a contrast between <laughs> between Askbox and any other notification I ever get. But with the ask box comes great responsibility. There are some rules about the Tumblr ask box. One, don't spam your followers with every single thing you ever get in your ask box. If somebody says hi to you in your ask box, you don't say hi back and make it a story on people's dashes, everyone that's following you. If you do this a lot, then people will unfollow you because no one wants to get spammed by other people's ass boxes. Two, don't go around multiple times a day saying, somebody leave something in my ass box. This is only acceptable under one circumstance. If it's three o'clock in the morning, if you're drunk, and if you're lonely because I've done it in that situation. Other than that, it just seems needy and just, just try not not to do that. Three, if you have anonymous turned on on your ass box, expect to get random, probably hateful, probably kill yourself kinds of messages. It's just, it's gonna happen. It comes with having anonymous turned on in your ass box. If you can't take that kind of criticism, then don't have anonymous on. Today I want to do rule number one that I just talked about and not spam my followers with things that are in my ask box. So that's why I'm making this video. I'm going to be answering questions that you guys have left in my ask box. Thank you so, so much for leaving them because I love seeing that little notification pop up on my dash. So without further ado, let's start answering some stuff. I watch your YouTube videos and you're hilarious, smiley face. It would mean so much to me if you followed me. I would actually be ecstatic, smiley face. Have a nice day, heart, XOXOX. Okay. What's your boyfriend's name? His name's Tony. Thanks for asking. How tall are you? 5'1". What is your height? 5'1". How tall are you? I'm 5'1". Jeez, God, I'm so, I'm short, okay? I'm short. Yes, okay. We got it, all right, fine, yeah. Hey, Sarah, I just want to say I love your vlogs. C colon. You're awesome, X. Okay, thanks. I'm um, glad you like them. Cool. I've seen some of your YouTube videos and you look heaps like Jessica Barden. I don't know who that is, so let's Google it. I get so many things in my ask about who I look like. Most of the time it's like Lindsay Lohan, which is obvious, obvious, but let's see. Jessica Barden. What do we think, guys? Do we look, do we look the same? I can. I guess a little bit, kind of, kind of see where where you're coming from with this. Who's Jessica Barden anyway? Like, what does she do and where is she from? I don't, I don't really know. Let me know in the comments below. She's probably 15, isn't she? Yeah. I just watched some of your YouTube videos and absolutely love them. You're hilarious. Plus, I love your YouTube name heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are nice. I like you. Thank you. Holy crap. I just watched some of your Tumblr tag videos and I'm cracking up laughing, which probably isn't good because it's almost 2 in the morning and my family is asleep. <laughs> yep, that's typical on Tumblr. Okay, well, now I love you, so I thought I'd let you know, smiley face. I love you too! Thank you for watching! I hope you're watching this, cause shout out! Hi! What got you so into vlogging? I want to start my own YouTube channel, but I don't know how to get started. Any advice? Okay. What got me started on vlogging back in 2007 was Harry Potter. Basically, if you want to start vlogging, you just have to think about things that you're passionate about and care a lot about. Turn your camera on and, and stuff will come out of your mouth, okay? Stuff, not, not pu puke, like, words will come out of your mouth if you just have something that you want to talk about that you're passionate about. That's how I started and you'll, you know, you'll grow from there. You just got to start doing it, basically. Just start doing it. I was reblogging so much stuff 
off your blog last night. Amazing blog heart. Ah, that's comment any Tumblr person ever wants to get is that <laughs> their blog is cool. And people are reblogging it. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. Cat smiley face. Hi. I don't like the cat smiley face, but hi. Wow, okay, I've just watched a couple of your videos, your Tumblr vs. Facebook video of Tumblr Lessons in One Direction and Harry Potter, and I had no idea you were 25. Wow, I honestly thought you were younger. Most left comment on any of my videos, guys. Most left comment is, oh my god, you're 25? Oh my god, I thought you were 17, 18, whatever. It's leaking into Tumblr now, too. I love your YouTube channel. Keep up the good work. Thanks for saying that. You guys are so nice. I get nice stuff in my ass box and like I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for leaving the love. I hope I can give some love back to you guys. So what have we learned about the Tumblr ass box today? Recapping. It's a sacred place. It's more important than any other notification you'll ever get on the internet. And you better respect that ass box. Because if you respect your ass box, it will respect you. And what more can we ask? Ha ha ha. Ask. Did you get it? What more can we ask. Okay, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I will see you all soon. Bye!